Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. In today's video, we are going to be making a new terrarium. Last time we used a 10 gallon tank, but today we are actually using a five gallon tank because as you can see, I'm running out of space. And I was hoping that I could probably add some more of these. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, we have some clay balls at the bottom as a drainage layer because that's where all the bad water goes from watering all the plants and everything like that. We then have moss to separate the layers of drainage from the main soil because we can't have those waters collecting together and everything like that. And then we have the main potting soil that we will be sitting and planting these plants in. We will then at the top add some little gravel and also this decorative stick I found on a walk. started by digging a nice little hole for the plant. Then made it all nice and cozy. Then I dug the second hole. In goes the other plant. And of course, make it all nice and cozy. Now we can add in the stick that I found. Let's make a little path out of this gravel. I'll put this little stick over here. And I think I'll put the other one right about, actually, let's just put them both in front. Now, this would be complete, except for up here on the top, there's a large hole where all the different insects that would be housed inside of here could escape. So we actually have some mesh and a glue gun so we can fix up that hole. get cutting. Now, while we're waiting for the glue gun to heat up, I'm also thinking about remo removing one of these lights because one of them is actually blue while the other one's white. And I don't really want this blue one. The reason why it was blue is because it's for an aquarium and it just makes the water look nicer. But because I'm not having any water, we can just get rid of that one. We also have this extra piece of wire that we're gonna use to patch up this little hole because any little hole left for bugs to escape through, they'll take that chance. I decided to apply a second layer of glue just to make sure that 
the mesh definitely wouldn't come off. Now, I have a lid, but no way to keep it on. So we're gonna fix that. I cut this little slit just so that the wires could come through. Now that we have that part, we can actually attach it to the tank. It works! Ah, it's almost finished. All we have to do now is add a little bit of life. To get this life, I went to my old terrarium because I knew that there was a good ecosystem full of life there, but it was a little bit dry, so I needed to add water to draw out all the different springtails and wood bugs that I want from this terrarium. After I got it nice and wet, I started digging from the surface, only to realize that it was still kind of dry under the surface. So then I ended up spritzing some more just so that I wouldn't accidentally drown any of the springtails. Perfect, I got some springtails and a wood bug. Now to put it into the terrarium. I placed in the first generations of insects, realizing that these were the, only the first generation. There would be many generations to come in this small terrarium. Taking a closer look at the pile, you can see the first little wood bug to come out. If you look really closely, you can see a springtail. There it is. I took a moment just to look at all the different little creatures I managed to scoop up in those few scoops of dirt. So now it's done. My favorite part is probably how exotic the plant in the back looks to the left, and also the fact that I got all sorts of different little pieces of life in there. I really like how these plants to the left here have a natural sparkle to them. They're actually not painted on, it's just the little hairs on them reflect the light beautifully. I also like this because it just looks more naturalistic and like it's meant to be in the environment. The one to the left here is actually called a uh, Tradescentia zebrina. I don't actually know how to say that because I'm not Latin and I don't know what that one is. <laughs>